Hello, I'm Jamie Rogers with a Sky Racing Update. Powerhouse trainer Chris Waller was the big winner yet again at the Racing's Night of Champions Award Night at Randwick on Thursday. Waller was awarded the Bart Cummings Medal for the 10th time, polling 122 points for the season and finishing 28 points clear of nearest rival, jockey James McDonald. In addition to claiming the Bart Cummings Medal, Waller also collected the TJ Smith Award as leading trainer in Sydney for the season. McDonald, as leading jockey, took out the George Moore Award. Robbie Dolan took out the Theo Green Award on Thursday night as last season's champion apprentice and the now senior jockey will be out to carry on from that success when partnering the John Sargent-trained filly Eliza Beale in the $1 million Bondi Stakes at Randwick on Saturday. Eliza Beale was strong to the line when finishing third in last weekend's Reginald Allen Quality at Randwick, behind Forbidden Love beaten just on half a length. Peltzer and Prime Star are at the top of the market to win the Bondi Stakes, with Acnophobic and Eliza Bill next in line. James Cummings will rely on Namazu to win the event, with stablemate Thermosphere being scratched. The top form of sprinter Nature Strip last season ensured his standing as Horse of the Year and Sprinter of the Year at the New South Wales Racing Night of Champions Awards. Nature Strip failed to run a place in last weekend's The Tab Everest, but his dominant TJ Smith stakes win in the autumn paved the way for him earning the awards. Golden Slipper winner Farnan was named two-year-old of the year. The Tab Everest runner-up Bivouac was three-year-old of the year and Fierce Impact Miler of the year. UK galloper Adib earned the middle distance title. Very elegant, the stayer, Contipatiro, the queen of the autumn, Victorum, the country horse of the year, and Raheen House, the provincial horse of the year. Warwick Farm trainer Greg Hickman took out the Carol Williamson, New South Wales Racing Riders Personality of the Year. Handy gallopers Toto and Leo are set to clash in the final event at Scone on Friday, with the betting suggesting one of them will be winning. Toto heads into the event on the back of a last start Musselbrook victory in which Grant Buckley was aboard. Buckley sticks with the Todd Howlett trained galloper at Scone. Leo, a Tab Highway winner at Randwick four starts ago, has finished fourth to the Kosciuszko winner It's Me in his last two starts. While Toto and Leo at the top of the betting, the Bob Milligan trained Lucky Shadow is also well in the market. King's Champ and Cat Gully Red are others given a chance. It's sure to be another big weekend of racing. Stay tuned to all of our social pages to keep up to date with the latest information.